我给大家写新年快乐，万事如意，不小心画了过去。新年快乐
Welcome everyone and happy Lunar New Year. I am Elena Wilson, company manager with Jonah Becker Arts Foundation and welcome to our first recess performance event of 2021. Recess is a series produced by Shea Bushwick, our affordable studio rental and performance space in Brooklyn, New York, which I am zooming in from tonight. Recess is a monthly salon style performance series focused on spotlighting the work of an individual artist. And tonight we are so pleased to feature the work of choreographer Roro Yi, uh, who has um, also chosen to showcase the music by the band, The Southeast of Rain, in addition to her own choreography during tonight's program. Roro is an independent choreographer who works with movement, shadow puppetry, projections and objects to devise innovative performance. And her work is rich with character development and cinematic visuals. And she often uses her own personal narrative to convey vulnerability and struggles associated with her immigrant experiences. Roro holds an MFA from Sarah Lawrence College and a BFA from Shanghai Theater Academy and has been presented at numerous venues across uh, the New York City area. And Roro is very special to us here at Shea Bushwick as she was one of our 2020 artists in residence. So we are so pleased to continue supporting her work with this program tonight. So I am going to pass it over to Roro in just a moment, but just a note about tonight's program. The majority of the performance and the program will be delivered in English, but in the spirit of the event, the artists will also be speaking in Chinese to make the program as accessible as possible to our international audiences tonight. So without further ado, over to Roro. Hi, Hi everyone, happy new year. Um, I, I am Roro. Uh, thank you so much for Jonah Bukir Arts Foundation for inviting me to be the featured artist tonight for the Recess program. And I feel very honored to share my Chinese culture with you all in this special day. And tonight I would like to show three works of mine. Two of them I made back in China before my relocation to the USA in 2015. And I wanna share these two work to recall my memory of China and the fundamental movement sensation I gained back in my homeland. Those work were the beginning of my exploration of contemporary dance choreography with Chinese dance elements. After that, I will also show a new work I made specifically for this event. And it's also a work in collaboration with tonight's guest artist, The Southeast of Rain, uh, which is an experimental electro-acoustic duo formed by female Chinese artists, uh, Sophia Shen and Lan Meng Guo. And before I give this, uh, give it to them, I have to translate this in Chinese. 
Hello， 大家好，我是柔柔，我是独立舞者、舞蹈编导，那主要呢是在当代艺术创作的领域。今天非常荣幸的受到美国纽约 Jonah Bukir 艺术基金的邀请，作为专场艺术家，在这个特殊的节日里，向全球的观众分享中国的文化，以及给大家拜个新年。今天呢，我会给大家展示三个作品，其中两个呢是我。在二零一五年移居美国之前，在国内做的作品。那我主要展示这两个作品呢，是想要回忆我的祖国，以及向国外的友人展示中国舞蹈的运动质感。这两个作品也是我运用中国舞蹈元素来进行当代舞蹈创作的早期尝试。那然后呢，我会在。呃，展示一个新的作品。这个作品呢是专门为今天的新春表演而准备的。那这个作品也是我和今天的表演嘉宾东南有雨的一个合作作品。我们运用华人艺术家的视角，站在美国的土地上，用艺术来思念我们的祖国。那我们就有请东南有雨来给大家发言。谢谢柔柔的介绍。大家好，我们是东南有雨，我是陈思阳。大家好，我是柠檬。我们是一支来自福建的跨界实验电子、民乐等数个流派的独立乐队。目前我在纽约，陈思阳在加州。嗯、呃，感谢柔柔和 Jonah b o c a r e 艺术基金会的邀请。今天很高兴能跟大家一在一起，在线上用这个很特别的方式来庆祝春庆祝春节。嗯、呃，祝大家新年快乐！然后看演出的时候呢，欢迎大家在聊天或者问答窗口留言提问。演出的最后，我们会有一个简短的问答环节。呃，中英双语的节目单刚才也发在聊天窗口里了，大家可以点开看一看。嗯。And then is the English translation. I'm Sophia. Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Lemon. So happy to be here. And thank you, Roro, for the introduction. Uh, we're an experimental band from Fujian, China, and we make music with pipa, which is a Chinese, a traditional Chinese instrument,、uh, voice and field recordings that we collect at various parts of the world.、Um, we'd like to thank Roro and Jonah Bukhair Arts Foundation for inviting us to join this very special evening、um, in celebration of the Lunar New Year. And、um, we're really far away from home, our hometown now.、Uh, Lemon is in New York, and I'm in California at this moment. So、um, I know many of you are as well. So seeing many、um, familiar names on the chat box, on the participant box,、um, it really、uh, it's really comforting for us. So、uh, thank you for being here with us, and happy New Year to you all. And Elena will say something. Yes, thank you. Thank you to Roro, to Lemon, and to Sophia.、Uh, we are so excited for you to share your work with us tonight and to celebrate the new year with you.、Uh, we will get going in just a moment with the program.、Uh, please feel free to type into the chat or the Q and A with questions or comments during the show. There will be a brief discussion at the end of the performance、um, and a chance for you to discuss anything, any questions, comments you have with the artists at that time. So we'll we'll probably take those comments and questions at the end of the program.、Um, you'll see several several different works tonight by Roro and、uh, the musicians, and you can follow along、um, with tonight's program on the playbill that has been circulated in the chat, and we'll keep circulating it throughout the evening so you can go back and look at it. All right, I think we are ready to go. So please enjoy tonight's show.
The work focuses on the movement trajectory of circular movement and the fluidity in movement transitions. The name of the work was inspired by the poem Immortal at the Maggie Bridge, written by the Chinese great poet Shu Shi. Now I'm going to read this poem. Shu Shi, Que Qiao Xian, Qi Xi, Song Chen Ling Qu. Hou Shan Xian Zi, Gao Qing Yun Miao, Bu Xue Chi Niu Ai Nu. 凤霄身段月明中，举手谢时人欲去。客茶曾泛，银河波浪，尚待天风海雨。相逢一醉是前缘，风雨散，飘然何处 ？I was so inspired by the state the last sentence created. So I made this work and used this last sentence as the title of my work. After nine years, the work is still speaking to me, as now I have more layers of understanding and experience of unsettling, the wafting, the relocating as a foreign artist in the USA.
Wow, that was a very, very beautiful music. <laughs> the, the next one, I'm going to show a work I made in response to Anne Choing. She is a Buddhist nun and musician from Nepal. She is known in Nepal and throughout the world by bringing many Tibetan Buddhist chants and feast songs to mainstream audience. I was very inspired by her um, pureness and calmness voice, so I made this work. In the work, I also mixed Chinese classical dance with Tibetan dance as well as Dai people's dance. Dai, uh, Dai, Dai minority are from the South China in Yunnan province. We're full of nature, river, and animals. They are also very closely related to cultures in Laos and Thailand. Thai people's dance represents animals of all kinds, such as peacocks, elephants, and butterflies. The movement traits are essentially called San Dao Wan, which means you need to make three curves in the body in each movement. The dance are beautified by the outer soft movement rooted in strong internal physical control. So you might see some of those elements in my work. 接下来这个作品呢，我被他音乐里的宁静和平淡而感动，于是做了这个作品。那这个作品呢，是一个大杂烩，我运用了尼泊尔的音乐、中国古典舞蹈声韵的运动方式，以及结合了藏族舞
。谢谢柔柔给我们分享了这么美的舞蹈，我们也是第一次看到。嗯，呃，在听下一首曲子之前，我们想啊、呃，先跟大家分享一下我们的作曲的过程，因为啊，柠、呃、檬跟我都是福建人。然后我们就呃从很久以前就认识了，啊、呃，我们的合作方式是经常会把当地收集的呃田野录音，还有与琵琶还有人声做一个结合，啊、呃，然后嗯、呃、这个、呃、可能会去全世界的各个地方采集这样的录音，就像刚才你们在第二首《天屋》里面听到的，嗯、呃，《天屋》是一首来自我们家乡福建的一首闽南语歌谣。他的歌词呃，讲述的是一个一个很可爱的故事，我可以跟不不是福建来的观众解释一下。他讲述的是一个老爷爷在暴风雨要来临之前去田里面挖芋头，然后挖到了一只泥鳅。啊、呃，他回家之后，老爷爷老奶奶为了那个泥鳅是要煮咸的还是煮淡的，就打了起来。然后锅碗瓢盆满天飞，也分不清是锅碎了的声音还是打雷的声音，是一首非常有生活趣味的歌。然后这首曲子呢，里面有很多声音，对声音做了很多描述，所以我们就在里面在做这首曲子的时候，我们用了其中一个很老的录音，是柠檬当时六七年前，呃，暑假回家时录的福建的下雨声，嗯、呃，有打雷、闪电，还有雨的声音。这雨声当中还有行人的脚步声，呃，远处收音机里传来的京剧的声音，还有打雷后小孩的哭声。啊，现在在这个比较特殊的时候，听起来还挺有一种思乡的感觉。啊、嗯，那呃，像我们一开始那首曲子的刚开始用到的很多，其实是环境。刚才呃，就是我们自己录的时候，环境的声音有雪地，呃，大风，还有鸟叫。啊，慢慢的呃，在融入这种遥远的故乡的语境。接下来的这首曲子是我跟柠檬在去年三月居家隔离刚开始的时候录的。改编的是电影《驴得水》的主题曲。我们一般做的呃音乐也比较偏实验风，但是偶尔会尝试一些流行的翻唱，也还挺有意思的。希望大家可以喜欢。Okay, now I'm gonna do the English version. <laughs> oh, I we really, I mean, I I really enjoy Roro's piece that we just saw. I'm、um, Sophia was saying the same. I. I really wish that I would be able to experience it in person one day, like the movement and the sound and the and the water,、um, how she interacts with everything was really powerful.、Um, so before we begin to play the next piece,、uh, we'd like to tell you a little bit about how Sophia and I usually make our music.、Uh, we often combine field recordings with. Sophia's pipa, which is the Chinese instrument that you saw in the second piece, and my voice,、um, and the, so the second song that you just heard is called Tian Wu Wu. It's a folk tune from our hometown Fujian, and the song describes an old grandpa who、uh, went into the field to pick some taros. Right before a storm hit, <laughs> it rains a lot in Fujian, by the way, especially in the spring and summertime. And the rice field was,、uh, of course, overflowing with water.、Um, so instead of taro, the grandpa caught a fish, and so he went home very happy. But he got into a fight with grandma because they couldn't decide on whether they whether to cook the fish、um, bland or super salt salty. And as they fought, <laughs> plates and pots went flying all over the place, making lots of noises that you don't really know whether it's the pot being smashed or whether it's the thunder thunderstorm in the distance. So it's kind of a funny story, with lots of imageries of sound. And、um, as we were as we were recording this performance for the show, we actually recorded it、uh, just this week. For you all,、um, I suddenly remember that I had an old recordings of the rain of,、uh, of actually it was a thunderstorm of Fujian's thunderstorm sitting in my hard drive.、Um, I recorded it about six years ago when I went home for the summer, and、um, there was something super nostalgic and visceral in that recording, especially listening to it now, like when when we're so far away from home and isolated. Um, and like you can hear 
under the blanket of rain, people's footsteps、um, and distant sounds of Beijing Opera being played out of an old radio, and children crying under a loud thunder. So we layered it under this track, and、uh, as the piece develops, we transform from the soundscape of our current surroundings, like the snow and the birds, to the、uh, soundscape of a distant home. Yeah, so that was the second piece that you heard, and the next piece I, that we're gonna play、um, is a collaboration between Sophia and I that we did at the beginning of the lockdown last March,、um, about a year ago now. It's the cover of the movie Mr. Donkey's theme song. It may be one of the few pop songs that we've covered. <laughs> we make mostly pretty experimental work, so it's kind of fun, refreshing to sometimes do something different for change.、Um, we had a lot of fun making it, and also we had a lot of fun trying to figure out how to collaborate remotely.、Um, yeah, here it is. Hope you enjoy it. Wow! Well, thank you so much to Roro, Lemon, and Sophia for sharing these beautiful works with us so far. We actually have one more work on the program tonight, and it's very special because it is actually a collaboration between Roro,、uh, Lemon, and Sophia. So it brings all of our three amazing artists together.、Um, this work is titled "I Followed the Moon to the River, My Far Flung Home," and it's a new piece that was created by Roro. Uh, in collaboration with the South East of Rain's album called Forty Two Days. In the work, Roro uses images and movements to chase a sense of home, looking back towards Chinese culture while being based in a Western country. The album Forty Two Days was created by the South East of Rain in the winter of 
and the album blends Chinese music with the soundscapes and field recordings of California. So this will be a beautiful way to close our program and bring the artists together. So please enjoy uh, I Follow the Moon to the River, My Far Flung Home.
So schon ist ja nicht mehr Talent. Amazing. Well, thank you again to Roro, to Lemon, and Sophia. And I think at this time, we're, we're going to open it up a little bit. We're going to have Roro, Lemon, and Sophia to, to chat a little bit about their work. And we're actually going to start this discussion and then actually upgrade all of our attendees to be panelists so you can actually contribute a little bit more to the conversation. Um, but if you're not comfortable being on camera or speaking, um, you can definitely uh, keep your video and, and self-muted and video off once you're upgraded. And that will take a little bit of time on a technical end for everyone to come into the conversation. But again, I can just say thank you to Roro, Lemon, and Sophia for sharing such beautiful, amazing work tonight and celebrating the holiday. So I would love to just pass it over to you. Um, I think a great place to start a conversation might be with that last work that we showed and maybe talking a little bit about what a collaboration is like at this time and maybe how each of you feel about how that work came together. Um, yeah, so maybe that's a great place to start. Um. So uh, I actually gonna say a little bit in Chinese first so that uh, people 
in China know what's going on. So now, uh, our performance has been completed. Thank you for watching. Lemon and Sophia will talk about our creation. All of the audience will be sent to our discussion. So you can also open your videos so you can see everyone together and feel the new year's energy. If you don't feel comfortable, you can keep your videos closed. Now we will start the discussion. Elena, can you repeat your question again? Oh, yes, I was just saying um, a great place to start the conversation might be if either Roro or if Lemon and Sophia, if one of you wants to start giving some thoughts on how the collaboration was between the two of you in the last work we saw. Um, sure. You know. Sure, actually, uh, this is the first time uh, Lemon and Sophia see this work I made in response to their album. So I'm really curious how these two uh, music creators think about it <laughs> and if they have uh, any thoughts and questions for me. So, I know what is it? Actually, the first time I was in the world, I um, I'd like to say something. I was very amazed, but because I, I don't think we commute and com we actually talked about uh, the process. I'm actually very amazed by how close our processes are. Like, for example, when you use the rice um, uh, mm -hmm. to, um, to, yeah, with the track that um, it's called Constellations. I was very amazed by how um, the rise and the stars, they share certain similarities. They're, they're you know, like they're, like the stars are like all over the place in the sky, but the rise is also, you know, it's, it's a pile of rice and you can see the dots everywhere. So I was very surprised by how uh, you catch that uh, uh, without communicating with any of us. And also um, with the last one, the last piece was something that we, uh, we composed using uh, a lot of those uh, recording bits that we didn't want to use it for real pieces. You know, it's like people talking, random clicks, this type of thing. And we actually thought, uh, felt that it would be nice to make a piece out of those unwanted bits of recordings. And then turn out to be very nostalgia as well. And then we look back to the time that we were in uh, Headlands when we were doing the residency over there. Uh, and we would collect those recordings. And uh, I have a feeling that your, your footage also communicate that feeling like you look back to your past. It was like a very far away memory. And I was really, I just, it was very touching. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, should I translate a little bit as well? Sure. Uh, I'll translate. Uh, 我, 我可以简, okay. uh, 简短的用中文. Something's feeding back. Uh, 简短的用中文, uh, 解释一下, 我, 我看到, 第一次看到Roll的作品, 我觉得非常的惊艳, uh, 他的很多的想法, 创作的想法, 跟我们作曲的感觉还挺像的, 比如中间有一首琵琶的曲子, uh, 我用的是, uh, 繁星的意象, 就是满天的星星, 然后用的是, 米, 米粒, 感觉这两个意象, 对我来讲, 有一种相似之处, 是我们之前没有沟通过的, 但是他好像能够找到那个相同的意境, 包括最后首曲子, 是我们用, 当时, 呃, 在, 呃, 录音的时候, 很多不想要, 不想要的一些素材, 呃, 拼成, 拼成的一个, 好像有一点记忆感的一个遥远的曲子, 呃, 然后我也很惊讶, 就是说可以, 把那个视觉跟曲子融合的那么好，我觉得非常的有意思。Um, do you want to say something, Lemon? Yeah, was the rice in the bathtub? I kept wondering. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you say? What was the rice in the bathtub? Did yes. You it? <laughs> yes. Wow. Was it real. a lot of work it's to clean real. up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of amazing. I, it, it feels so trippy, like the layers of imagery that you used, um, especially in the last part. 
I was really drawn to it. And also, yeah, um, <laughs> um, also in the in the first piece, I, I was like really drawn to how you layered, like the silhouette of of you, your shadow um, on mm -hmm. the wall. Mm -hmm. um, in the in the first part, like, because I feel like it, in some way it connects with how I use my voice mm -hmm. in that track. Because like I, I was I also sung uh, various take improvised takes uh, in, the, in the first song. It's called uh, Traveler, mm -hmm. and uh, I layer them together. Um, yeah, some something about how you use the the layering. I felt like really really worked in that means I can't answer that but do you want to translate it a little bit oh right okay what did I just say um <laughs> 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 uh, 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 trippy how do you translate that word <笑>魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻魔幻
Oh no, sorry. I made the the image first, and I was like picking music from the album. Um. Uh. Also, the the video was projected on the rise, and the video actually I made in two thousand seventeen. It's about my like experience as a foreign artist in New York, like trying to find my belongings, like where should I go? So I was like walking on the Washington Square Park and East Village, just like standing outside of the door, outside of the building. So then I was just like putting that laying over the rice and I take out the original soundtrack. And then it's just that music, I, re I picked that music because I love the, random speaking dialogue you have it's just like you feel like you're outdoor you're like talking something random but not specific and that just like so interesting to uh, respond to the to my images so that's why i i use that yeah do you want to um, translate that into chinese <laughs> Yeah,所以其实我做这个作品呢 非常的中国有那个，但是又又又又很现代，又很当代，然后运用了琵琶，运用了人声这种元素，然后呢，我就那天我就是开始创作创作前，我就在听他们整个专辑，然后脑脑子里就开始浮现不停不同的画面，比如
but you and your collaborators in Sofia and Southeast of Rain, it's so beautiful. So some of you are waking up in the morning, like Harry and everybody, Tina Kotsenza, Toki Wang, Gung Hei Fa Choi, and we're going to say, you're of the ox, we want to have a prosperity, you know, prosperous year, but we're not going to stay up all night in New York, so we're going to open it out. Yeah, sure. Um, I actually lost what I was talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, I oh, I was talking about. I also like that the last in the last soundtrack I used, uh, the southeast of rain. They are using the. You're speaking in, in English, but then it's a Chinese pipa laying over, and then my dance is the rice with the. New York scene layover, so that's also why I choose that. Yeah. Beautiful. And Harry, you can dialogue in the chat. Dialogue with Rogo. Now Elena's going to upgrade you to interact with the artist and her collaborators who southeast of Rain are from the Fujian province. But Elena's from Shebushvik. Elena and her collaborators are also in LA. Some of you are just waking up, so Happy New Year. And we're going to chat with you about this rich Thank you, Roro. So strong. And maybe, uh, maybe Jonah would like people to ask questions. Well, yeah. we would love for um, if our artists have any last thoughts they want to share, or if any of the attendees, now that you can share your video and audio, if you have any questions or comments, um, or our artists can continue to share any any thoughts they want to about their program. So, yeah, please feel free to jump in with a question or a comment, and we'll we'll have a little dialogue to end our evening. Well, I, I won't be shy. I'll ask a question. Hi, Ruru. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if you would care to say anything about. Um, the relationship between the pieces I've seen before, where you use all these um, wooden blocks, mm -hmm. and um, the pieces that you showed tonight. Mm, I think uh, the, the most direct relationship is uh, my exploration with lighting and shadows. So that's a main uh, practice I've been doing for years now. So that's a very, uh, that's what's always here there. And also I think the theme is also related because I'm always the context of who I am is a foreign artist in the USA to achieve my dance career to having a life with, you know, multi, like uh, confronting all the challenges. So that's always there. And then the, my Chinese background is always there in all of those works I'm making. So I think that that's a relationship. Yeah. Well, I don't think we consider you a foreigner. I think you're here, part <laughs> of all you. of us. Thank you. And, you know, thank you for that comment, Phyllis. I think. One of the ways, for whether you're in Canton or in mainland, or whether you are an artist or serve on this board or running the program tonight, very often I mean, you serve thousands of artists, and then maybe you win a residency, as Roro has done. And then maybe you grow and you win a recess program. There are many, many layers here. This is new, so we're rebooting Recess, and Roro is going with us. So it's very ambitious to stream with all of you in New York, Hudson Valley, California, China. And so, in addition to Happy New Year, like David, people hearing more from us and our alum, like Roro and Elena, and so many. Any other questions? We don't want to keep you all night or all morning. Hi, Roro and Hi. Lemon and Sophia. Hi, this Hi. is Ki. <laughs> Hello. And, uh, 
Hi, I really enjoyed the performance you shared, and uh, I have a question about uh, how you, uh, what kind of communication you have when you collaborating with music and dance for you three. And because uh, I heard um, for Sophia and Lemon, it's the first time you saw the whole piece, so I was wondering while collaborating, what kind of communication you shared and. Uh, did you guys share any ideas of making work? I'm really interested about that. Um, I can answer a little bit about that and then we'll see if uh, Sophie's brain can say anything about that as well. So I think I, I'm just very in tune with uh, their work before our collaboration. And that's why I reach out to them because I can see how my work look like with their work, with their music already. So then that actually makes the process very easy. It says first they've already made the music. So I'm actually just taking their music and then make my second, uh, you know, make my dance with their music. So so that's actually our collaboration. I, I kind of like that, you know, just doing whatever I want and then just, to show, like, give them a surprise, like, what this look eventually. So that's just my experience. The collaboration is very easy <laughs> for my end. Yeah, it's a it's a great Chinese New Year present. <laughs> Thank you. We love the surprise. Thank um, you. I think there is a lot of shared understanding that are not communicated orally. Like you see Roro's use of domestic space and domestic material. Like her, you can you can kind of see her bedroom door and the bathtub and the rice. And then like when you see the projection in the last piece, like people are not wearing masks and very close together. So you immediately know it's from a different time. Like sort of similar to the our use of um, field recordings and people's talking in the last song. So even though we didn't directly communicate, I think also because like everyone is locked at home and right now like being a year, at least in the US. So, and we're, we're both like missing home on this Chinese New Year week. So yeah, I think a lot of it's just shared understanding. Yeah. With, with uh, you know, Roro and Sophia and Lemon, for those of us that are spanning the continents, really, in the time zones, I hear you. And some of us, are, I'm just looking at our beautiful guest list. We have many artists on the call, many dancers, many people in the Hudson Valley, many people who might be Cantonese or Chinese or friends. So, Lemon and Sophia, not to put you on the spot, but could you decode Hujian for us? Like, although some of us, and I'm going to wait for you, some of us can go to Broadway with me at a Hujian restaurant. But tell us, like, tell us what that's about. We're not going to put you on the spot, but, you know, we, we love you. We love your music. But just give us a hint. Like, if I said I was from Chicago, if I was from Florida, or if I said I was from you know, San Francisco. Yeah, tell us about it. Like, tell us how Roro and like, what is the difference there? You know, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm like provoking you a little bit. Happy New Year. We want to hear about the region. Yes. It, it, can you speak up? Uh, can you re repeat the, there's one part that I think I, I didn't catch. I Did you mean by uh, was introducing Fujian? Because there was one part that was a little bit glitching. Yeah. To really understand the region, region. You know, just talk to us about the regions because the Hudson Valley and New York and the Midwest and Florida and California and Texas. These are all different regions. So tell us about the region because I love the food and I just yeah. want to hear it. so good, so good. So we just we can learn from you tonight. Yeah. So that's. Um... It's the southeast part of China, hence our name, Southeast of Rain, because it rains, it rains a, lot a lot over there. <laughs> so there's a lot of thunderstorms. Every winter, there's like 
um, typhoon, I think it was um, hurricane, not hurricane, but similar, you know, typhoon, typhoon and everything. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of thunderstorm. The food is amazing. There's a lot of seafood, which I miss the most, especially on this day, because I think my family was having lobster a few days ago. They didn't show me because they knew that I would like, <laughs> like cry to tears. I don't know. So they didn't show me, but I, I knew that they had it. Anyway, so seafood is really good, rains a lot. And then um, we speak a different dialect um, from my region. Uh, a Lemon few different also, dialects. Yeah, Lemon's also from Fujian, but she's from the northern part of Fujian. So she speaks another dialect that I don't understand. And I don't think she fully understands my dialect as well. My dialect is, is more similar to Taiwanese. And yeah, so uh, we actually understand each other. And I don't understand Cantonese, even though that's the province next to us. So very diverse region in the Southeast. And um, yeah, and then uh, for example, we use a lot of, uh, we, we uh, like Lemon like to do a lot of research into folk singing. So she's, some sort of an expert in, in uh, folk song singing. And then um, she was singing in our dialect, actually the piece that you heard before was a Hokkien uh, folk song, right? Remember? Yeah, I'm just gonna add that like to sort of uh, perceive it geographically, uh, Fujian has a lot of mountains, like lots, lots, lots of mountains. Um, so since it's a mountainous area, like there's, it created a lot of different dialects and different communities. Like there's sort of a saying that if you go across a mountain, you enter a different language. So, um, and on those mountains, there's a lot of tea growing. I think Fujian produced the majority of the tea in China and, and people consume it abroad too. You, you all might have had it at some point. Um, and it's green all year all year long. So even though it's snowing in New York like crazy right now, Fujian is actually all green. It sort of looks like summer. It's a little bit like California and it's also yeah. surrounded by ocean over here. As well. Right. It's like a cr if you go across the Pacific Ocean from California, you'll get to us. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you bring us there right now? Can you bring us yeah. <laughs> How did you all find each other in, in coming from different parts of China? How did you all find each other together? Now, answer Phil's question, but I noticed some people are saying goodbye. I'm going to say tie tie and gong hei fa chou, but um, we're not going to keep you all night. But I noticed we've got about nine more minutes. And good morning. Maybe you're getting ready for some of that lovely tea from Fujian. Or maybe you're getting ready for brunch. Or maybe you're getting ready for a cocktail. But wherever you are, we love you. We want you to get more involved. This program staff has stayed late tonight. We really can just to cohere with you zones. Hello, New York. Good night, New York. Hello, Hudson. LA, Happy New Year. China Canton, thank you. Just Happy Year of the Ox. We're going to put this back in the chat. And if you need to say good night, don't feel shy. I'm going to go, I'm going to turn off the video, and I'm going to say that Lemon and Sophia and Roro, Tete, uh, -te, really, thank you so much for what you've done. Continue the dialogue, but we feel that the ox is going to bring us a lot of prosperity for the arts, and there's a whole new dawn that's happening today in your morning over there. We love you. Let's... Let's steer it toward the arts, okay? And Roro, that you're an alum of the program. We're not, you know, we're, we're here for you. We, we are just continuing with you. So continue the dialogue. And I'm going to do some of my duties in the chat right now. Uh, although I'm better at Cantonese than at not at certified Mandarin. Now over to you and to Elena from live from Shibosh. Yeah, thank you, Jonah, and for all um, Jonah does to run this organization and bring us amazing programs like this. Um, I think we should definitely take a few minutes to finish out the conversation, um, finish out any last questions, any last thoughts from our artists before we wrap up. So why don't we go ahead and get back into it for a couple of minutes or so. Now you guys can also type the questions in the chat if you want. 
We're going to stay for a few more minutes just to answer the rest of the questions. I think there might have been a question about how the three of you started, like met and started working together. Mm. Um, I can go. Sophia and I met in college, actually. We didn't know each other before that. We just accidentally all went to the University of Virginia and became the the only two music majors <laughs> in the department. <laughs> That's how we met in the first place. And Roro, how did we meet? Oh, Instagram? <laughs> yeah, we met on Instagram. So I actually, Lemon was doing some uh, music, experimental music for other contemporary dance artists in New York City. So I saw one day people are posting a show in dance space. <laughs> So and then and then I look at the lemma and I was like, this is a Chinese musician. I want to meet this girl. So then I just reach out to her and I actually used Lemon's uh, composition for my one of the major work, the Tangible Hallucination of Roro in the Daytime. Chapter oh, it's what's three. behind you right now. Yes, this work. So I used Lemon's composition for this work. Loved it. So I've been like admiring Lemon's for a long time now, listening to her work. Yeah. That's how we met. And then I met Sophia through, actually this this event, through this yeah. uh, project. So I I heard her pipa and then the work collaborating with Lemon. So that's how we met. Looking forward for the, for more collaborations in the future, actually. Yeah. Very exciting. We we'll love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Great, well, there was one other question that came up in the chat, which was, how did your artistic styles transform by living and studying abroad? I think we can maybe aim to wrap up in like five-ish minutes or so. So if you have like a brief answer, you can give to that question. I, I can go. Um, definitely transformed a lot <laughs> ever since I came here because as you can see, I play a, a Chinese instrument, a traditional Chinese instrument, uh, which I learned when I was there. I, I think I picked it up when I was around 10 years old and then I've been playing it since. So um, a lot of them is about how to incorporate what I've been learning ever since I came abroad into this traditional art that I had, had been doing for most of my life. And um, so there's a lot of exploration for sure about how to uh, maybe uh, expand the possibilities or the sounds and um, collaborating with um, artists that I meet over here, people from all over the world, and then uh, try to explore like a different kind of language, or, like a new kind of language. So definitely has been a very enrich, uh, enriching pro uh, uh, experience for me. And um, yeah, that's my answer, I think. Uh, for me, I think it's always uh, a process. It's always progressing. It's, a, it's a, always transforming. Uh, you can see like the, the first two works I showed before I came here, it's, it's actually very different than the works I am making nowadays. And nowadays I'm more interested in the interpretation, the, the underlying meaning of the visual presentation you saw, and then more into like conceptual, conceptual like uh, fostering, like how can I use image and how can I make things look magical by just using very simple tricks or ordinary objects. So that, that's my, my interest nowadays and I think the Chinese background, the Chinese dance training background is, is always there and um, you can still, I think I, I think the way I move is still like this, that background and I'm still exploring how can I integrate those elements closer. Um, so this is a, that's why I'm saying it's, it's a progress. It's a, it's a process. I'm, 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 I mean, coming to the USA, I start to learn contemporary art, contemporary creativity creation. 
And then there's a moment I just all contemporary like learning those. And now I'm kind of going back and then see how I can further in incorporate those elements together. And what's my point of view? Uh, what's my voice as an artist that has multicultural background? Yeah. Great, and maybe Lemon, do you wanna give any last thoughts from your perspective? Yeah, briefly, I feel like I sort of have a shared experience with both Sophia and Roro. Um, I was trained as a folk singer when I was in China and then coming here during college, I studied mostly like contemporary composition, computer music. Um, and then afterwards I began digging more into my Chinese roots. Like I would take field trips to different parts of China and study um, folk music or like, uh, yeah, from different ethnic groups. And, um, and in New York, I, cause there's a lot of people from all over the world in New York. So I get to collaborate with like Bulgarian singers, Indian singers, um, all sorts of things. And that's, that's an important part of my practice right now. Amazing. Well, it's been so great to hear from all three of you, and I can only keep thanking you for bringing together this beautiful program, celebration of the Lunar New Year. I think we're going to close out uh, um, the program tonight with those, with those last thoughts. So um, thank you three once again. Thank you to our amazing tech who was behind the scenes of this entire program, Pedro Veloso. So thank you to Pedro um, for making tonight as seamless as it was. Um, and I hope that all of you in attendance will, will stay in touch, keep up to date on Shea Bushwick programs for more recess events like this one. We'll, we'll be having monthly virtual recesses. So keep checking our website for new programs as they come out and keep, um, keep up to date on Roro, Lemon and Sophia. They've put their uh, info in the chat a couple times. It's like Roro is sharing it again. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with what they're doing. So thank you all once again. I think we'll play some of Southeast of Rain's music as we exit. Um, but yeah, thank you all again and Happy New Year. 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 And we're going to please over to the music. Enjoy yourselves. Year of the Ox means good things for Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy.
Så du skulle tända med talent.
I can see it running. Oh.